Memorandum from Henry P. Rodriguez, Attorney at Law, submitted to 7th District Court, Otter County, regarding case number 1745321, Gardner et al. v. MLA Independent School District. Shortly before midnight on June 15th, Gabriel Johnson, a 16-year-old from Minnecota, Minnesota, was apprehended outside Cub Foods by Officer Rex McCoy. Johnson possessed $17.75 in small bills and change, which he confirmed had been removed from the vending machine at Minnecota Lake Area High School. Police suggested the alleged robbery was related to a larger conflict involving assault, vandalism, and defamation of character that has come to be known as the Spunk River War. The following transcript is Gabriel's verbatim account recorded in a conference room at the Minnecota Police Department between 10 a.m. and 5.40 p.m. on June 16th. We submit this document as context for the above noted case. There is a specific human cost when those in power wield power arrogantly. This case supports a teenager's fight for dignity, opportunity, and fairness. Here are some words from Gabriel. Ripping off the pop machine last night wasn't meant to be funny. It was my duty to all the geeks, burners, and oddballs in school because that machine sucks. Robbing it was serious business, okay? I hate that machine for so many reasons. That machine made me a junkie, a pop junkie. I'm not the only one in school either. Purchasers of pop at Minnecota Lake Area High School are fat asses, trailer park kids, addicted gamers, and burner chicks who eat cigarettes for breakfast. Dozens and dozens of these kids. Most of them went for seconds later in the day, some for thirds, a couple for fourths, me, for instance. Very few jocks purchase pop from the machine. So when I heard that the cheerleaders were taking the pop machine funds away from the band, I got mad. I am fully capable of taking my own dignity, but no one else is going to take it from me. I was prepared to fight. That's Fat Boy vs. the Cheerleaders by Jeff Herbach.